Imagine yourself surrounded by lavender fields, vineyards, and olive groves, while sipping a glass of red wine and enjoying a piece of fresh baguette. Now, let's make it a reality. Dive into the magical world of Peter Mail's A Year in Provence and experience the true beauty of southern France. This book is perfect for anyone who wants to escape from their everyday life and indulge in the French culture. It's a great read for those who are planning a trip to France, or anyone who wants to learn about the daily life of a foreigner living in a new country. Whether you're a history buff, foodie, or simply seeking an adventure, A Year in Provence will take you on a journey you won't forget. Peter Mail's vivid descriptions of the people, places, and food in Provence will have you feeling as though you're living right alongside him. From the excitement of renovating his home, to the struggles of adjusting to a new way of life, a year in Provence is relatable to anyone who has ever experienced a major life change. Through his humorous and charming writing style, Mail encourages us to embrace new cultures and appreciate the little things in life. Get ready to fall in love with the charming countryside of Provence through the eyes of Peter Mail. A Year in Provence is a must-read for anyone who wants to experience the joie de vivre of the French lifestyle. Have you ever dreamt of escaping your busy life and spending a year in the south of France? A Year in Provence is a memoir of a British couple's move to a small town in the Provence region of France. Throughout the book, they face challenges with the language barrier, renovations of their old farmhouse, and learning the local customs. As they settle into their new home, they encounter some peculiar locals who help them understand the culture and lifestyle of the province region. The couple spends their days exploring the local markets, attending festivals, and taking in the beauty of their surroundings. They also make friends with some of the locals and learn about the local cuisine. Reading this book can inspire you to live more simply and enjoy the smaller things in life. The book reminds us that life is short and we should take the time to appreciate the beauty around us. It can also teach us about the importance of embracing new cultures and stepping out of our comfort zones. A Year in Provence is a heartwarming and humorous memoir that can inspire us to live our lives to the fullest. It can teach us to appreciate the beauty around us and to embrace new experiences. We should all take a page from this couple's book and learn to slow down, enjoy the little things, and live in the moment. Arrival The author, Peter Mail, and his wife arrive in the small town of Minerbes in the south of France, where they have purchased a 200-year-old stone farmhouse. They are warmly welcomed by the locals, who help them adjust to their new surroundings. Arrival, the author takes us on a delightful journey to his new home in the charming village of Minerbes in the province region of France. As he settles into his new home, he discovers the joys and challenges of living in a foreign country, from dealing with a language barrier to understanding the customs and traditions of the locals. The author shares his initial impressions of his new home, including the beautiful landscapes and architecture, and the warmth of the people who welcomed him. Through his witty storytelling, the author invites us to share in his experiences, from the comical moments of trying to order food at a local restaurant to the struggle of finding a trustworthy plumber. The author's keen observations and colorful descriptions of his surroundings paint a vivid picture of the province region and its people. The author's experience of arriving in a foreign land can teach us a valuable lesson about stepping outside of our comfort zone and embracing new experiences. Even though it can be intimidating, trying new things and exploring new places can bring a sense of adventure and excitement to our lives. So, let us all take a page from the author's book and be open to new experiences, embrace new cultures, and learn to appreciate the beauty and diversity of the world around us. Buying a house The couple navigates the confusing and sometimes frustrating process of buying a house in France, with its strict regulations and unfamiliar customs. Peter Mail writes about his experience of buying a house in the south of France. In the chapter Buying a House, he details the ups and downs of the process. Peter and his wife, Annie, had been searching for a house for several months when they stumbled upon an old farmhouse in the Luberon region. The house was in a state of disrepair, but they fell in love with its potential. After negotiating with the seller, they agreed on a price and began the process of buying the house. 
The first challenge they faced was the language barrier. Peter and Annie did not speak French fluently, and the legal documents for buying the house were all in French. They had to rely on a notary to explain the legal terms to them, which made the process more confusing and stressful. Another obstacle they faced was the French bureaucracy. The process of buying a house in France is notoriously slow and bureaucratic, and Peter and Annie had to navigate through the various hoops and hurdles that were put in their way. Despite the challenges, they eventually completed the purchase of the house and began the process of renovating it. Throughout the process, they learned a great deal about French culture and the joys and frustrations of living in the countryside. The experience of buying a house in a foreign country is not unique to Peter and Annie. Many people have faced similar challenges and frustrations when trying to buy property in a foreign land. However, the rewards can be great. Owning a home in a foreign country can give you a sense of belonging and connection to a new culture, and can provide a unique and enriching experience. Peter Mail's story of buying a house in Provence is a reminder that the process of buying property can be challenging and stressful, but the rewards can be great. If you're considering buying a house in a foreign country, it's important to be patient, persistent, and to have a good understanding of the local laws and customs. The Arrival of Winter The author describes the stark beauty of the Provençal winter, with its mistral winds and snow-covered hills. He and his wife learned to cope with the challenges of winter living in a house that was not built for cold weather. The Menace of the Mistral The Mistral, a cold and powerful wind that blows through the region, is a constant threat to the couple's comfort and well-being. The author recounts some of the worst Mistral experiences he has endured. A Question of Taste the author discovers the joys of Provençal cuisine, with its emphasis on fresh ingredients and simple, hearty dishes. He also learns that food is taken very seriously in this part of the world. Summer As summer approaches, the author and his wife prepare for the onslaught of tourists who flood the region. They also experience the pleasures of summer in Provence, with its long, sunny days and warm, starry nights. A Year in Provence the author reflects on the joys and challenges of living in Provence for a full year, and expresses his gratitude for the warm welcome he and his wife have received from the locals. Overall, A Year in Provence is a charming and humorous account of one couple's experience of adapting to a new and very different way of life. The book offers a fascinating glimpse into the customs, culture, and cuisine of Provence, and is sure to delight anyone with an interest in travel, food, or simply the human experience of adapting to new situations. Buying a House Chapter from A Year in Provence by Peter Mayle can help readers in solving problems related to the process of purchasing a property in a foreign country, especially in a rural area like Provence. The chapter covers various issues such as dealing with real estate agents, understanding the legal procedures, negotiating the price, and dealing with unexpected repairs and renovations. The chapter also highlights the importance of taking time and making informed decisions while purchasing a property, rather than rushing into things. By reading this chapter, readers can gain valuable insights into the challenges and opportunities of buying a house in a new place and make informed decisions while investing their money in a property. Whether you're dreaming of owning a piece of French property or simply seeking a glimpse into the adventure of buying a house in a foreign land, Buying a House from A Year in Provence by Peter Mail is a must-read. Mail's wit and charm make the experience of buying a house in Provence an entertaining and enlightening one. So if you're ready to embark on a journey that will leave you with a newfound appreciation for the joys and challenges of homeownership, grab a copy of A Year in Provence and get ready to be transported to the idyllic French countryside.